how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich TV Live with my very special guest, my cryptocurrency enthusiast, associate, Mosin. How are you doing, Mosin? Great, Rich. Thanks for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm excited about learning more about Essentia and the DeFi life. And I know that you are currently running a masternode. I'm going to start running a masternode. So I wanted you to go through the process since you've already are running a masternode and you're going to run a second masternode. I wanted you to actually go through the process of showing the audience how you do that, how you set up the, the, the tokens, how you get money into your account and how you are able to actually run a masternode with Essentia. Can you go through the process for us? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll give you a bit of background. You know, a masternode is one of the many ways to, um, or a few ways, I should say, to secure the blockchain. So, you know, when we are setting up a masternode, we're actually contributing to the decentralization and security of the platform. In this case, that's Essentia. Essentia has got a great wallet app. They're, uh, they're on a good path to be a, uh, almost an aggregator of multiple wallets. Um, they have a very big um, uh, focus on security. And, and, you know, with this uh, decentralization through different masternodes, you know, we're going to see a very tight, uh, a very tight project. So, yeah, it's looking good. Um, right now, they're offering two, um, two ways to contribute. One is by adding liquidity, uh, which is one thing I suppose maybe you can cover in somewhere else. And what we're going to talk about today is the actual masternode where we will be helping process transactions. So um, uh, let's get started. Um, you know, I'll just take you through the first step. Um, you know, I've already done it. So this will be more of like a, uh, a walkthrough, but um, we're going to go into uh, We're going to pick up the tokens. So in the future, this will be on the Binance Smart Chain, but right now it is not. So we got this bad boy. Um, we're at Uniswap um, platform right now, app.uniswap.org. Now you're going to want to make sure your MetaMask is set up. So I'm going to hop in here. I just press the MetaMask I have installed in my browser, hit connect. Now we're in. Um, this is a custom token. So you want to make sure that you got all of the, um, all the info. So whenever you want to find this, you're going to hop on and you're going to go into what they may have a block explorer or a page where they give you the info. Um, what we're looking for is the contract address, which is somewhere. Oops, sorry guys. Whenever you can't really find it, the easiest way to do it, go to coinmarketcap.com, search up what you're looking for, looking for Essentia, and it'll always give it to you later. Boom. Very nice. And so you were mentioning that we will be using the Binance blockchain in the future as opposed to Ethereum. And the advantage is there is that Ethereum right now has very expensive gas fees. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. You know, Ethereum is a fantastic protocol. It gives developers a way to build on it with a very easy to understand language. With the explosive boom we're seeing now, we're seeing everybody in their, you know, in their dog hopping on the blockchain. This blockchain is becoming very bloated. Um, they haven't implemented the systems they need yet to uh, reduce that bloat. Um, you know, we're seeing a lot of projects come to solve that problem. And in most recent time, the Binance Smart Chain is now here. Um, you know, it offers very similar functionality with the swaps and the ability for developers to build on it. Um, but, you know, for what will cost us, you know, 20 to $60 will cost us about 60 cents to transact on the Binance Smart Chain. Wow. So it's much, That's uh, huge. It's a much more scalable solution at this point. So right now you're using Uniswap and you're going to be sending tokens to ESS from Uniswap. Is that what you're doing? We're um, going to be, so I put in that contract that we just found. Yeah. Already added it. So now we are set up to buy our first ESS tokens. If I had balance in my wallet, which I do not unfortunately right at the moment, but we would hit what we want to buy. I want to say I want to buy an Ethereum worth. I'll give me the quote. Normally I would say swap. You say, okay. You say, okay. in your MetaMask and then the funds will go in there. Boom. So we have now put our tokens into here. This is now in our wallet. Now, so now then that would show up in your MetaMask now, correct? Yeah, where you see my first blood, my LPT, my Ethereum, you would yep. have e And if you do not have ESS, do not freak out. You go to add token, a custom token. We'll put in that contract address. I'm just going to go ahead and paste that. 
and it already knows what I'm talking about. Boom, we're in. I got nothing in there right now, but that's how you do it. Sweet. So here we are. So imagine I got them. Now we have done the part where we get the tokens. Now we need to get it set up through the Accenture platform. So we're going to go back and download the Accenture wallet. Exactly. We'll go right here, get the Accenture app, download that one. I already have. Um, you know, it's a simple download. You download it, press the exe file, or if you're a Mac, you press the uh, DMG file, it'll install it for you. I now have it here. Sweet. Now you can see mine's a bit messy because I've been doing a lot on the blockchain, but um, the first thing you want to do, you got to import that wallet. So it's an Ethereum wallet. One, we'll call it, and then you put in that private key. You get that private key from that same wallet that you use to buy it. Press these three little dots here. In your MetaMask. In your MetaMask. I don't want you, you to show your private keys. Keep that private. Uh, but here's export private key. You press that. It'll ask you if you're sure. Oh. And then it'll show. When you do get it, you just highlight it all. Copy. Right? And then you go back into your Essentia. Paste that into here. Don't worry. It's not really my address. And uh, import. That is how I did so now all of a sudden your funds are in your ESS wallet. There it is. Yeah. So you can see here, I had a little bit left over from my last transaction. So this is what you would see if you did this. And now you to the tokens that you bought will be showing up here. If you want to run a masternode, you need to purchase at least 100,000. I would rec recommend you buy 100 and 1,000 to cover your fees. So you need 100,000 tokens, guys, to run a masternode. I do have over 100,000 tokens ready to run a masternode. And Mosin already has run a masternode, and he's going to be running a second masternode today. Is that correct? That is correct. So from there, what's the next step from there to run your masternode? Now that you've got the funds in your account. That we purchased on the Ethereum blockchain. And this is important because you can see right here, ERC20 means that these are your Ethereum-based tokens. All right, we hit it. Now here it says token swap. Now we're gonna take those tokens and swap them for the native ESS tokens. They are called ESSX. I would take them, take your 100,000. Here's how much you're gonna receive. You can now set how much you're gonna spend on gas. Now you wanna hit anywhere from normal to fast. If you hit slow, it'll, it will take too long or it will not work at all. Oh, wow. This is where you see the real effect of the Ethereum blockchain. You can see these prices are a little bit on the high end. So you want to make sure you're moving a lot to make it worth your while. Yeah. So if you're moving $100 and you're spending $43 in gas fees, it's probably not worth it. But no. if you're moving like at least $1,000, then, you know, that's 4%. That's not the end of the world. Exactly. Exactly. So that would happen. I would hit the swap and, it, you know, it does its thing. So. The swap time it may take anywhere from half an hour to a couple hours. Um, the dev team is fantastic with support. If you ever have any issues, keep in mind, we're very early to this company. You know, it's a great opportunity that Rich has brought to us. So, um, you know, we want to just kind of be aware of it. Uh, it's a little bit unpolished. So if you do see that take a little long, don't hesitate to go into the Telegram group. There's support. They'll help you out whatever you need. So we've done that. Our token swap is done. The funds have left. You're going to see it pending like I've got one here pending. Yep. And then done, you'll see it say redeemed. And then it'll actually be in this essential wallet that comes with your application. You don't need to import this. It's already there. And you'll see it confirmed. Okay. And now your coins are in ESSX. Exactly. And that's where you can now, as you can see, Masternode is one of the options there now. Yep. So, so now you could run a masternode. So what's the process of running the masternode? So you click on masternode. I clicked it. I've already got a masternode. So this one here wouldn't show up for you. But you can see once you do set it up, you know, for example, I've set mine up um, six days ago. And I've already earned over a thousand ESS tokens, ESSX tokens. When you set up your masternode, do you need to put in a certain amount of days you're going to run it for? Exactly, you do. So uh, one beauty thing, let's just touch on this. Uh, a master node is used by a lot of different systems. Typically, holding a master node, um, it needs to be online at all times because you're validating transactions. That's what's happening is instead of mining, 
you are staking and you are using a master node to show that you are a secure provider of these coins. So um, yeah, in general, you would not need to set the amount, but ESS has a great solution for this. So we're gonna hit deploy another master node. I'm gonna put my master node amount. Um, we're gonna do, oops. 1,000 days? 100,010, so one, one, two, three, one, zero. No, those are the amount of days. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, we're going to call this uh, Mo, Mo Node 2. And I'm going to do this for 30 days. 30 days. Okay. So now the reason it's asking you for this is because ES essentially gives you a server, essentially. So you don't need to have your computer on at all times. You are borrowing server time from them to stake your coins. Oh, wow. So I thought I had to keep my computer open. No, thankfully not. Nice. Yeah, it's actually great. It's uh, going to save you a lot. You know, a lot of these computers, you know, they take a lot of energy. So um, there is a fee. So say you just did it for one day. And you see that fee, 100000 on top is your 92. So it's looking to be about 92 in the day. Um, but I'm going to do it for 30 days. It's going to cost me 2482 so um, that's all. That's pretty much it. So let's just make sure everything's done right. It's got a name. You've got thirty days. You've got to pay one hundred two four eight two, and you can see the balance is one hundred eight nine six eight. So I'm good. Maybe we should uh, revise it to you want to be purchasing, say, you know, one hundred three thousand, maybe just to be safe. So here I'm going to set it up. Take twenty minutes. Sweet. So now. In progress, you see that one. You see my one that's successful. It's got been active. It's been up for uh, six days now, uh, and I've earned 1,127. So if you calculate that six days, you know I've already got almost half my um, my initial spend for the server. So you know it's oh, quite. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. So you got 1,100 tokens out of 100,000. You've already got 1,100 tokens in six days. Yep. So that's like a master note is like in stocks. If you were to buy a dividend paying stock and you're holding that stock long-term, you're going to receive a dividend. A master note is similar. You're going to receive rewards. You're going to receive more coins for holding the coin. Correct? Exactly. exactly. Yeah. You, uh, you know, you have your stock companies that they want to have a secure shareholder base. So they're going to incentivize those shareholders, you know, uh, Essentia, they want to make sure that they have a good decentralized base of as many people running a master note as possible. So there's no centralization. They're going to incentivize you for that. Okay. Mosin, uh, there's a share screen button. Yep. You see it? Yeah. Are you able to unshare your screen for a second? Yeah. And then I'll try to go and run my master node. Sweet. No, Let yeah. me go share my screen now. And here is my wallet. Okay. So do you see my wallet now? Yep. Yeah. Perfect. So here is my Essentia. Here's my master node. So I would just click master node. Yep. Yeah. And then scroll down here. No active master nodes. This is my first master node. And I want to hit deploy master node. It doesn't give me the option to choose days yet. No. Just hit deploy master node. Okay, so this is where I'm going to call this one. We'll call this Rich TV Live. And we'll say we're going to do it for 30 days, just like Mosin did. And set up a master node. Boom. You know, Accenture has made this so easy. It's essentially a one-click master node. That's it. So there it is, guys. We've got a chance to see Mosin, who's running two master nodes. I'm now running my first master node, and I still have coins in my wallet. So technically, I could run a second master node. You could. Because I have 200,999. 200, I guess I have less than that now because I'm running this master node. So Yeah, you're just shy, but um, I probably have to send a little bit. Maybe I'll send myself a little bit more gas and then, um, or some couple more coins, and then I'll be able to run a second master node because you need at least a hundred thousand ESS to run a master node. So I'll be a little bit shy of that, correct? So correct. I'll top up my coins and maybe run a second master node just like Mosin and then make a video for you guys to watch. Mosin, thank you so much for showing us everything today. I really Absolutely. appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you have really good rewards with your masternode. And in the future, if we run any other cryptocurrency videos or educational training, love to invite you so that uh, we can get your take on everything that we're talking about. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, I'm here whenever you need me. 
I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you so much. Congratulations on running your master node and all your success. Hope you enjoy the Essentia token and the Essentia platform. For those of you guys that are watching, remember Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. Past performance is not an indication of future results. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Essentia, put it on your watch list, put it on your radar. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. What do you think about Essentia? This is Rich from Rich TV Live with Mosin saying, have a nice day.